The U.S. Census says more than four out of every 10 Bibb County children lives below the poverty level. No one school wants its staff to know what that's like. Pepper Baker went to Appling Middle School to see how they're doing it. Students are away for fall break, but school was in session for Appling Middle School's teachers and staff members, and they were the ones doing the learning, and the lesson went beyond the classroom. We have about roughly 75% of our students that experience um, living at the poverty level or even below. That's why Appling Middle School principal Shandrina Griffin-Stewart made her teachers take part in a poverty simulator. I really want to feel what my students go through on a daily basis. Shavita Thomas and 44 other staff members got a new identity of a person living in poverty. They lived through a month in 12-minute weeks. Things that you'll experience, it's going to be a very hectic, a very chaotic month. But that stress is normal. When I went to the bank, he wouldn't cash my check, but he took my transportation pass. It was a lie. Why did he cash my check? He said I didn't have an account there. I've got arthritis. They don't, I couldn't pay my bill. Now I live in the home shelter. I need one. The goal of the poverty simulation is not only to help one another understand, but um, actually to uh, try to encourage community action and social justice. Mary Alice Morgan, the senior vice provost for Mercer University's service learning department, runs the program for their students. It was her first time doing it at a public school, and some teachers learn more about themselves. This was um, real life experience for me. It was reliving some of the things and understanding what now what my mom was going through to make sure ends were, were met. At the end of the simulation, organizers asked the group, what now? How do we overcome poverty? And they said with five words, educate, advocate, commit, volunteer, and vote. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Morgan says the poverty simulation kits cost about $500, which Mercer pays for.